Hey guys, Wild Tracker here, and welcome to a quick tutorial here on Minecraft. And today I thought I would show you some stuff about villagers and, and getting villagers. It's okay when you find a nice village, but uh, as I found out here on Zanecraft, uh, the village I found is a long, long way away. Um, and so if you want to create your own village wherever you are, uh, the only other way you can do it, if you don't want to transport the villagers around, is to actually make your own. So, um, this is what we're going to need if I bring up my inventory. Uh, we're going to need a uh, golden apple, and you can see here, they're very simple to make the golden apples. You take a standard apple, put it in the center, get eight gold ingots, and that makes a golden apple. So, um, that's the first thing that you will need. So, I've got two golden apples here. The second thing you're going to need is a splash potion. A splash potion of weakness, in fact. And that's basically made up of a fermented spider eye. And to do that, you get a normal spider eye, you get a mushroom, but please bear in mind, you can't use the red mushroom. Shrug, sugar is the other thing. You see nothing happens there, but when we use a brown mushroom rather than a red mushroom, you get a fermented spider eye. So, uh, we've got a golden apple, we've got fermented spider eye, and we've got some water bottles here. So, um, the great thing about this is you don't need nether wart for this particular potion, because you can put the fermented spider eye directly in there, and that will make the potion of weakness straight away. So it's a quick and easy recipe to make. It's something you can get um, fairly easy. You also do need to go into Never because you do need a brewing stand and the brewing stand needs uh, one of the um, blaze rods. So it needs a blaze rod and some cobble. So yeah. Um, so there we go. We've got a potion of weakness. Add to that some gunpowder. And then that's going to create our splash potion. And that's quite important to actually do. So um, they're the basic things you need. The other thing you're going to need is a minecart and some rail tracks. Because once we've got it, we need to be able to move the villager around. So we're going to use those to move the actual villager around and put it where we want to put it. So let's just get those splash potions. And let's go and find a villager. So what we basically need to do now is go out at night, get rid of all these um, creepers. The last thing we want is some creepers around. So I uh, don't want those blowing up or blowing anything up. But uh, we are looking for a villager zombie. That's what we really need here. We need a villager zombie. So it's a case of finding some zombies. And unfortunately that one isn't one there as well. So we'll get rid of him. Um, oh, one spawned right away. Oh, he's one. So that's quite good. Um, so there we go. We've got a villager zombie up there. Let's see if we can get rid of this creeper, though. Don't want him coming up. Right. Let's see if we can get the attention of this guy here. Hey, guy. Hey, guy. Do you want to jump down here? No. Do you not want to jump down? Is that what it is? So how about we give you some stairs to come down? Can you come down now? Cool. Okay, and what you want to do is actually try and set up a trap for these guys. Because what you want to do is get them somewhere safe. Because this process takes a little while. So you could trap them in a, a room. Um, that would be quite good. So I'm just going to make a little trap behind here. And uh, let's see if we can get them to follow us around here. And you can see my trap area. So if I stand here and boom. Okay, so I've got myself a villager zombie down there, which is uh, nice and handy. But we've got to make sure that um, no other zombies get him while we do this process. So the process is quite simple. Golden apple, splash potion. So we find him wherever he's gone. There he is. So we want the splash potion of weakness. Bang. And there we go. So basically, Splash Potion of Weakness, tap him on the head with the um, Golden Apple. And he will now change into a villager. So what we're going to do, just to show you this, is... I actually have two traps here, as you can see. So I'm just going to put that one back up there. And then I'm just going to open this up so we can see him. So there he is, he's still changing, but he's going to be protected from the light. So um, let's just get rid of this. And this is the thing, because now it's daylight upstairs. You can hear the other zombies burning that are up there. 
You can hear the spider going that's up there, but this guy, he's just going to change. So what we're going to do is we'll just watch it until he's ready. And there we have it. One villager. And... Yeah, it's not bad. Okay, so we've got a villager. Um, he's sorted. So what we need to do is basically transport him. So the first thing I'm going to do is... Let's see if we can't. So we've got him stood on a block. Let's get the rails and the minecart. And the idea is that if you put the rails under his feet, onto the block there, minecart and he's in the minecart no he's not in the minecart let's get him in the minecart didn't quite work he's facing the wrong way tell you what we can do is put another rail there there we go let's see if we can't put the mine there we go and the minecart's in him so um that's him sorted with the minecart what i now need to do is obviously make sure that it's safe outside because the last thing we want is any other um, zombies because if there's another zombie around here he's going to basically convert him back again so I can hear a spider there we go so it's just a spider that's all right we can live with spiders can't we good if we see him there he goes <coughs> so um, that's that done so all we need to do now is basically use the minecart to get him out of here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get him into here with my other villager. Now he's already in there in a minecart so what we probably ought to do is get my silk touch break this here and here okay so um, that's already there so what I'm going to do is put some rail track along here and we probably need to get them out first don't we so let's get that that and get enough rail track to get him out that should be okay does the bottom one not work it's probably too far back let's have a look at it and it doesn't matter about messing up the trap, but certainly using a trap like this is much better than using um, trying to dig the hole in the you know sort of once you got it. So if you have a hole ready, once you've got it hole ready, you can um, it's easy for, to get them in. Else we put rail track up there as well, evidently. So um, yeah, it's far better than trying to get a hole, dig them in a hole. So if you make a hole, cover it over and know where the hole is, and that's why I use the different color blocks because then you can easily um, get them to drop down in the hole and that's usually the bit where you lose a bit of health um, so that's what I always do is just basically build the blocks so there we go that's there so let's get rid of this get these iron bars back or rail track back and then we can just transport him so you know, ideally you probably have had a you know a dozen rails enough rails to get him all the way over there but uh, to be honest, this is absolutely fine. And the great thing is these rail tracks do actually, these minecarts push off the rail tracks as well. So you can maneuver them back on quite easily. I think the mechanics of that has got a lot better than it ever used to be. So uh, well, that's really good. So let's destroy that, destroy that. We shall put the glass back first. And the interesting thing as well is if you ever want to do this... Um, if you look look at my video I've got on uh, Zanecraft, you'll see that you can get them to push through glass, but they won't won't then come back. If you know what I mean. So I can I can now destroy these blocks. Um, they won't come through that glass, but I can get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that one as well without hitting him. Wrong one. There we go. So I got rid of those. They might disappear in the blocks, but that's just a that's just a little bug. They will come back out of it again as well, which is really good. So um yeah, there you go. Quick and easy how to get yourself a villager. 
And the other thing as well, I don't know if I've actually got any name tags, but we'll go and have a look. I'm just going to fix this back again, because you never know, you might, I might want to get some more villagers over here. So um, I'm just going to fix this back in case I want to do that. Uh, let's keep those marked there. And let's get the dirt back down. So I know that side and that side drop down. So let's just have a quick look, see if I've got a name tag. Because this is the other thing with these, is that you do want to um, try and keep them. Now here, I'm at spawn. So that's not a problem. On the server, the spawn is always active. So, you know, it's the, the villagers are always going to stay there, basically. So it's not really a problem. But however, if you want to keep them... Uh, I forgot about that. They jump over the top. Um, so let's um, stop them leaving. No, I knew there was a reason I had the minecarts behind there. So, um, you see, that's our new villager. And this is our other one, which we called Arkwright. So, um, let's see if we've got any name tags. We have. So, you can always name your villager, which um, isn't easy, because when you look at it, if you try and right-click on them, it brings up their information. Um, but what you can do is right-click, and then keep the right mouse button down and drag it over the top and it will name the villager before the villager uh, information comes up so um, yeah that's really good so uh, and quite handy so um, yeah I've got to do a little bit of fixing here now I've destroyed this and got got me two villagers now so I'm going to put them behind the counter um, they can go in here but that was the reason I had them in the minecarts because they couldn't jump over the top then they were stuck in there so I will put them back in their minecarts and we'll have two shopkeepers here so, um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed that little tutorial. Just a quick and easy way of getting uh, villagers uh, and really handy because once you've got two villagers, you can put them in a room like this where they can't get out of. Make sure you've got doors that only you can open, so you probably have buttons rather than pressure plates. And they can't get out, but you can get in and out. And what you can do on the second floor, make a second floor to your house and just cover it in doors. And then that way, uh, the mechanics of the game will think it's a village and the more doors you've got the more villages can be there and it will start reproducing so again go and check out my video on Zanecraft you can go and see my video where I've gone from just three villages and now I've probably got about 30 villages a couple of iron golems and it's just uh, I've got every villager type under the sun really so here we've got a couple of them we've got the blacksmith and we've got a normal sort of farmer villager um, but again uh, I've now ended up after breeding quite a long lot of the villagers I've got three priests so I'll get me XP and some really really cool stuff that they give as well as all the other villager types so yeah I hope you've enjoyed it my name is Wild Trekker and thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon thanks a lot bye for now bye bye bye